I'm an account director at the Media, Media and Digital Practice of Emil Brown. Um, what we typically do, what we do every day within the, the Emil Brown group is, is really to help clients to understand how effective their media are at driving the brand and the brand impact. So what I'm talking about today for a, a few, few minutes, probably five max, is, is really about how um, media impacts brand equity, brand health, brand perceptions. It's really that side of, of, uh, of the media impact that I'm going to be coming out from. So that's really what we focus on and, and what our clients, clients ask us. In terms of how I was going to position today, because what we do um, with our clients is, is, is try to answer their questions, is I wanted to sort of talk, talk around a few of the questions that we get asked. There are hundreds of questions that we get asked, but I just wanted to cover a few. I'm sure more and more will be covered as we, uh, as we go through the panel, but um, from my perspective, and my position that I was going to talk about the immediate future of media rather than sort of trying to delve into the, into the, into the future, long distant future if you like, and just really talk about what we're being asked today and how that is, is potentially going to impact how media is used going forward and, and how that's going to change, how advertisers use media, how agencies use media and how, how we as researchers uh, research media as well. So I mean one of the key key um, points from our side as, as a company is that um, historically one of the focuses that we've been asked is to really to, to give clients a sort of deep dive into, into one particular media channel to help them understand what that's doing for their brand. So for, for, for many years we were really focused on helping clients to understand, you know, what's digital doing for my brand? You know, everybody's talking about online display, everyone's talking about digital. It does, does it actually help? Is it helping my brand? Is it helping uh, drive my brand health, my, my, my brand equity, etc.? Um, so we spent a lot of time focusing on single channels, and we still do. Um, you know, the, the smaller reach channels that come up. You know, mobile is still relatively small on media plans, so it does need specialist uh, research to really try and help to understand it because of the relatively small investment and reach. But more and more recently, clients have really been coming to us to ask, okay, well, there's all this media out there. Um, I'm not just looking at TV and print these days. I've got so many choices. There's so much going on. There's um, uh, agencies are talking to me about all this new stuff that I can do. What what should I be doing, and how should I be using this channel, these channels, and and how do these channels impact my brand, and what role do they play? How do they differ? How can I supplement one channel with another? And uh, these are the kind of questions that we're being asked. So that's my. My focus, I guess, is from that perspective. So, how how do these channels? Uh, how do I use these channels? How can I use these channels more effectively? It's probably quite. It may be quite surprising for my first slide to be about TV, <laughs> but uh, talking about the future of me uh, media, I thought TV would probably be one of the key key elements for us to talk about. And one of the one of the things that we are being asked by clients is. Not necessarily am I spending too much on TV, but uh, TV is quite expensive and how can I, how can I utilize other media to, to make, make my use of TV more efficient? So how can I supplement other media in to, to use uh, TV in the most efficient way without um, uh, wasting uh, money on TV really because of the, of the way that TV is planned? So that's one of the, 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 the questions I'm, I'm assuming that we'll be talking about on the panel today is, you know, what is the future of TV? And, and from my perspective at the moment, it's still definitely on there. If we, if, you know, as, as, as a, pro, a dominant media going forward, most of the clients we work with are still spending the vast majority of their, of their money on TV. And, and it, it, is, it is a dominant media on most media plans. There are a few clients out there that have moved quite strongly away from that shift and aren't spending, say, 70, 80% of their, of their media budgets on TV, more, you know, more going down to 50%. But it's still very dominant on that, on that plan. So I don't think the future of media um, is going to be about TV. I think the future of media is going to be how, how, they, how people use TV more efficiently and how it's used um, more efficiently within the media mix differently to what it's been, how it's been used to date. And one of the key questions comes up when you follow up that question about TV is online video. Um, interesting enough, the intro by eBuzzing was about online video and that's one of the, the key questions we're being asked at the moment by some of our major clients is what, how do we use online video and 
can online video replace TV? So, for example, certain markets um, where TVs seem to be quite expensive these days, we're being asked by clients, well, can we use online video instead of TV? Can it replace TV? Um, you know, the, the use of audiovisual TV at the moment is still the dominant media to drive that reach and to really get that strong creative content out there. And that's the, that's the question that's coming up. Is there another way to deliver that AV content to clients that can be as effective as TV? Um, at the moment, we're, we're certainly looking at online video, and it's from, from our perspective, it's definitely helping to deliver more efficient reach, so to actually get to harder to reach audiences, to get to tighter target audiences, maybe the, say the younger, the, younger t the younger consumers who aren't spending as much time watching TV, but it's, and it's definitely delivering more efficient um, uh, reach and impact. But in terms of replacing TV, our position would be, at the moment, no. Um, in the future, probably no as well, but will it sit alongside TV more, and would TV, the use of TV sort of shrink a bit and maybe online video sits alongside it and and they're used in uh, in combination in that in that respect that that could well be the the future from an AV point of view um, and another key question that we get asked in terms of the future is well, and the future is now I guess but um, Facebook what, what is the role of Facebook so there's lots of uh, focus at the moment in terms of using fan pages and are they uh, an effective additional channel to our to our media mix can we use this type of own media and and use that instead of other paid media um, at the moment uh, most fan pages don't have the reach I think to, to actually do that adequately but I think the, the key question from a Facebook point of view is what's the role of Facebook display um, when I started looking at online media plans maybe about four years ago, there, there wasn't anything such a thing as Facebook and an online media plan. Now when I look at online media plans, pretty much every single media plan has Facebook on it. And it seems that most people have adopted the, the, the position that Facebook works and Facebook display works. And, and now I think clients are coming back and asking, well, okay, we're spending this money on Facebook, but what, what role does it play and what, what role will it play going forward? Um, and that's, I suppose that brings in the element of social media and how does social media work and the future of Facebook could well be using that, their, their social element to their advertising which they're, they're putting out now to really help deliver advertising in a social context. I mean, so much of what we look at nowadays is very individual in terms of the, uh, how people consume media. We're not talking about people sitting around the, the TV as a family watching a show, consuming an advert together, or you know, even sitting in the cinema as a, as a as an whole, whole audience sharing that experience. It's all very individual, and, and maybe the role of, of Facebook in the future is, is to add a sort of social layer or a social element to, to exposure to media, and, if, and, and that would actually help to, to sort of strengthen the sort of recommendation, if you like, or, or word of mouth. But um, going forward, I think word of, I guess not a word of caution, but a potential problem could be the, if when Facebook does list um, and advertising is more uh, important for them in terms of shareholders, does, where, where will the balance be in terms of actual consumers accepting the, the kind of advertising they'll see on, on Facebook and their shareholders not accepting the revenues that they're getting. So I think it's going to be a very interesting balance and I think the future of Facebook in, in, the, in the media mix is going to be quite interesting because of that. I mean, Facebook is its users, but pretty soon Facebook's going to be a combination of users and shareholders. So I think the future for, for Facebook is quite interesting. Um, so just to sort of conclude before I pass on to the, to the, to the next uh, panellist, from my perspective I think the future of media is, is a lot more fragmented, I think there's a lot more media choice and I think clients are going to be using a lot more different elements of media and maybe not spending so much in one channel, actually just building a media plan rather than building it around a, a big TV investment, building it from elements of different different channels, so online video, TV, out of home, print, lots of different elements. That, that might be the, the future for, uh, for, for media. Um, and also, I think a lot of clients are going to have to start thinking about where they re talk to their consumers and actually start th thinking about if they're in the right place. And there's so many different touch points now. Consumers have so much more choice about where they engage with brands. And I think brands are going to have to be a lot more clever about where they choose to actually speak to their consumers because there's so much more out there. Um, that's uh, the end of my, my set. Um, thank you very much. I'll hand over to the next panelist.